This video's topic of discussion will be, hookworm infection, also known as, the Wakana syndrome. It is caused by two most common hookworms, Ancylostoma duodenal and Nicotera americanus. What is hookworm infection? It is also known as Ancylostomiasis. It is an infection of the intestine, skin or respiratory tract. Depending on the location of the hookworms in the human body, iron deficiency anemia also develops over time, due to chronic blood loss caused by these worms. Common hookworm infections Number 1. Cutaneous larva migrants. It is also known as, creeping eruption. The larvae can only penetrate the upper five layers of the skin, where they give rise to intense, local itching. This is known as, ground ditch. Number 2. Pneumonia with the eosinophilia. It is seen during migration of hookworm larva through the lungs. It occasionally causes L.A. tilde pilcrofeller syndrome, with cough, wheezing and rarely hemoptysis. Number 3. Eosinophilic enterocolitis. During acute phase, it causes abdominal pain, flatulence, diarrhea, weight loss. During chronic phase, Mature hookworms attach to capillaries of GI tract and suck blood. This leads to development of iron deficiency anemia. Two important hookworms that affect the humans are Ancylostoma duodenal, Old World hookworm, Nicotera americanus, New World hookworm. What is Ancylostoma duodenal? It is also known as Old World hookworm. Ancylostoma worm contains sharp teeth, two pairs of teeth. Its lifespan is 1 to 2 years. It causes blood loss at the rate of 10.2 milliliter per day. What is Nicotera americanus? It is also known as New World hookworm. Nicotera worm contains a pair of cutting plates. Its lifespan is 3 to 5 years. It causes blood loss at the rate of 0.03 milliliters slash day. Risk factors. Walking barefoot on soil and warm climates. With poor sanitation increases the chances of being exposed to hookworm mode of transmission ancylostoma duodenal transmits by two ways skin penetration oral ingestion nicotera americanus transmits only by skin penetration life cycle of hookworm filariform larva penetrates intact skin of bare feet larva enters bloodstream then the larva reaches lungs capillaries then it enters alveolar spaces of lungs. Larva migrates up to trachea, where it causes coughing. Coughing causes swallowing of larva. Due to swallowing, larva enters the GI tract. They mature to adults in the small intestine. New eggs containing larva passes through feces to soil. Eggs hatch to form rhabditiform larva in the soil. Sheathed filariform larva forms in the soil. Filariform larva penetrates skin and the cycle is repeated all over again. Diagnosis Following lab tests diagnose this infection, stool for ova and parasites. It shows eggs in the stool under the microscope, stool for cold blood. This test is positive. Due to chronic blood loss, differential leukocyte count, DLC, it shows eosinophilia. Eggs of hookworms, the eggs of Ancylostoma and Nicotra cannot be differentiated under the microscope. They show the following features. Shell is thin and colorless. A clear space is present between shell and the cells. It contains two, four or eight cells. Treatment. The drug of choice is albendazole, mepentazole and pirindole promo 8. Iron supplementation for iron deficiency anemia.